The Texas Chainsaw Massacre has a new asymmetrical horror game on the horizon, and its aesthetic and detailing catch the same lightning as the original grungy, dirty, sweaty movie brutally displayed in cinemas in 1974. The new Texas Chainsaw Massacre game has stuck in a lot of fans' minds since its reveal at the Game Awards in 2021, and more information has only served to whet players' appetites for more cannibal carnage. Horror fans are often uniquely scrutinizing of translations from cinema to video games, so nailing the art style and direction of the game may be as imperative as making it play well. Asymmetrical horror games have experienced a boom recently, ever since Dead by Daylight and Friday the 13th made their big splash some years ago, first with indie titles such as Hide or Die and Home Sweet Home. Survive and now more high-profile entries such as Killer Clowns from Outer Space. The Game & Gun Interactive's second attempt in the genre, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The game plays with two teams, one comprised of four victims attempting to break out of the Sawyer house and the other team playing as the trio of brothers left watching over the desiccated estate. The trio versus quartet style of horror sim seems like a new idea that's shared between it and the aforementioned Killer Clowns game. What recent information reveals, however, is a deep and meticulous focus on painstakingly recreating the original movie's location and aesthetic, similar to the Evil Dead game, which was recently updated. The game plans to focus on the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie for its main inspirations and content, and most noticeably its visual style. The Sawyer House and its supplementary locations surrounding the family estate all share that orange-yellow tint from the blazing Texas sun and show in great detail the disrepair and messiness of the family household. Bones hang about any which way along the walls or just hung from the ceiling on strings. The paint on the walls has peeled off and instruments of death and abduction are left strewn about the house, oftentimes still coated in the remains of the Sawyer's victims. Texas Chainsaw Massacre wants to drive players through the muck of the Sawyer estate in recent interviews, the developers of Texas Chainsaw Massacre have explained their process and goals regarding the visual style. Again, similar to the Evil Dead game and its star Ash Williams, there's been a strong focus on analyzing the original materials, the movies, and recreating picture-perfect scenes of the film. Specific bones on the wall, light switches, boards laid against the walls, even specific stones left in the underground reaches of the basement. The developers have poured over these hours of footage to recreate the dirty, uncomfortable world of Tobe Hooper's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Even things such as the specific make and model of the chainsaw the iconic Leatherface wields has been analyzed and implemented faithfully. The best games using horror movie licenses have always focused on being as faithful to the source material as possible alongside providing engaging gameplay elements. Evil Dead and Friday the 13th were known for their fantastic renditions of these well-established properties, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre looks ready to join the collection of faithful adaptations of these horror titans, at the very least in terms of visual authenticity. Unlike those other two games, however, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre has only shown off its original cinematic interpretation in-game. If Gun Interactive does take the leap to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre's many sequels and remakes, hopefully, players get the same level of dedication as the original, 